audiovisual training material prepared under the aegis of implementing business development services in the Kolkata leather cluster by Freya, a unit of ILPA Infrastructure Development Foundation. Audiovisual instruction on operation of basic machines used in the production of leather goods. The leather goods industry today is fairly modernized and uses semi-automatic and automatic machines for the different processes in the production of leather goods. The machines help not only to increase production volumes but also ensure quality of the products. The basic machines are described in this audiovisual tutorial which will help operators to understand the various machines and also teach the operating techniques. This should be viewed before practical training as it will help the operators learn quickly and thoroughly. Strap Cutting Machine The strap cutting machine is used to cut leather and other materials into parallel strips in the desired width with clean and uniform edges. Multiple disc knives easily adjusted with spacers for different widths to make shoulder straps, belts, leads, collars, thongs, etc. The main shaft has metal spacers positioned between the disc knives to ensure the required width. The feeding guides on the sides keep the material in place. The bottom Teflon roller serves as the cutting base. The leather is fed from the working table in the front and collected after cutting into strips from the rear of the machine. Aim How to set the machine How to maintain and replace the knives How to operate the machine General maintenance Important machine parts On off switch Speed regulator Emergency switch Foot pedal Shaft disengaging lever Working table Guide Pneumatic valve for air pressure Safety cover Teflon roller Main shaft on which disc knives are fitted Safety wipers to prevent leather from rolling back onto the shaft Back cover should be opened only by a qualified mechanic. Tools and accessories Spacers, disc knives, ruler, allen key, caliper, brush, spanner, screwdriver, oil can. How to set the machine? Ensure the machine is off. Rotate the lever to disengage the main shaft. Remove the safety cover. Unscrew the stopper bolt to remove the disc knives and spacers. Use the spacers to determine the width of the strap. Check the knives for sharpness. The spacer's width must be 1 mm less than the desired width, that is, if you want to cut a strap of 10 mm width, the spacers will have to be 9 mm. Knives to be placed on either side of the spacers. Ensure that the compactness and tightness of the knives and disc is maintained. Put back the safety cover. Fix the safety wipers between the knives in such a way they touch the spacers. Ensure they do not touch the knives. The machine is now ready for operation. Operating the machine. Working position. Stand upright in front of the machine. Put on the machine. Use the speed regulator to adjust the rotation speed. This will vary according to the material and its thickness. Thicker the material, lower the speed. Switch on the pneumatic supply line. 
check air pressure use the foot pedal to engage the teflon roller with the disc knives use the guide to keep the material in place when feeding it into the machine place leather in between the teflon roller and disc knives check the cutting depth keep the foot pedal pressed to continue cutting place a plastic container at the back for the cut strips to fall into to disengage the roller lift foot off the foot pedal should you need to stop the machine instantly use the emergency switch on the side to turn off the machine switch off the pneumatic line turn the speed regulator off and switch off the machine should you hear an unusual sound from the machine stop it immediately and ask for a technician's help safety precautions switch the machine off when not in use the main power switch should be off while setting up the machine safety guards must be in place during operation loose clothing like dupattas scarves saris and long sleeved garments should not be worn while operating this machine must wear proper shoes during operation should the knife fall it could cause hurt do not force material into the machine position fingers correctly general maintenance clean the machine after use wipe the blades and spacers clean and store them in a dry place use brush to clean dust particles check pneumatic lines for leaks oil the machine periodically as mentioned in the operation manual